What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Check out this hot stamp. How cool is that? That is going to be part of the big giveaway that we've been announcing over there um, to all our members. But before we get into any of that stuff, let's go over and check out a few reviews from the Academy. Lots of reviews coming in. Thank you for anybody who has put a review, and if you're watching this and you haven't, please do that. But let's go check out some success stories. All right, Josh Raymond. Here is one of his reviews. Started the spin putting vids and did a little work yesterday. Even with 20 mile per hour winds, really started to notice a difference in accuracy and overall distance when I, was, when I wasn't fighting the wind. So, so excited to keep pushing and improving my game. MCO is just around the corner and I can't wait to see how much I've improved by then. It's big. So that's just, you know, a guy seeing his putting improve, improving right before his eyes in 20 mile per hour winds. That's a lot of wind. That's a lot of wind. Where's this guy live? Holy moly. For real. Texas. All right, next. Go to the right. Matthew Ian Aarons. As with everyone else, I've been implementing the putting techniques from the first few lessons. It is amazing how much more speed my putter has with less effort than my putts used to be. I'm having to aim lower to avoid hitting ban. I feel you there. Honestly, surprised by how quickly I see a difference in my putt. Matthew, congrats, man. That's awesome. I mean, I see people improve like that. The majority of people that are hitting us up and sending these success stories are talking about how their putting has improved significantly in their yeah. confidence, putting and up shots. So there's a lot of people that are feeling a lot better about their putt. All right, next up, <clears throat> Siggy Gunn. Siggy. Success story. I'm traditionally a spin putter, so I'm no stranger to them. What I've been doing differently to Paul's teaching is that I collapse, I break the wrist, and I'm more square to the target. Watched the spin putt lesson yesterday, first time. Took 20 to 30 putts in the garage, 18 footers or so, since that's all the space that I have and weather does not allow for outdoor putts. He must be in a pretty- Pretty cold place. Pretty cold place <laughs> or snowy place. Decided to use Paul's version at yesterday's putting league. Took it down with a month high score. Let's go, With Siggy. the month high score. So. Siggy goes to putting league, wins the putting league, and drops a little course recce on him. That's Love that. Talking, That's yeah. what we like to hear right there. And we're just hitting a random deal. So this is just randomly going through them, and we're picking them up. We might even pick a bad one. Who knows? But I you don't think there's... I haven't seen any bad ones quite yet. Just wanted to say thank you to Paul and David. The videos are better than I expected. I've learned so much and putting and putting better already. That's awesome, Lou. Let's go, Lou. That's what I'm talking about. All right, next up. Oh, hey, hey. this is an admin. Huh. This is David. This is my, I put it in there because I was so hyped up. Okay. I outdrove the basket that I have never come within 100 feet of my drive. And I got my first birdie on the hole. I really focused on three things. Placing the disc in the Anheuser position and keeping it there all the way through the throw. Keeping my head on target as long as possible. Very good two things that I want you to do. Staying back loaded and releasing the power. Love that. The tee pad is about 50 feet behind the concrete wall. Culvert on the right side of the... The picture, I took a picture. Of the and picture, I put it okay. Y'all, that was a bomb. What Paul Uliberry is teaching is magic. Did you should have seen David. this shot. So the, the the ones that we were working on today, the big, yep. they finished. So I threw that, and I usually am a hundred feet short of this hole. Yeah, and I outdrove it. Just just focusing on those things. That's like I was like, that's all I'm gonna focus on. That's what we do, man. Okay, Steve. I played around today and 
putted better than I ever have after watching Paul Uliberry's putting lessons. I mean, just a simple little, just if you're watching this and you are part of the academy, please leave a review, whether it be good or bad. It gives us feedback. Absolutely. And it lets us know that we're either doing our job or we need to work harder. Absolutely. So thank you, Steve. So I've known that my footwork, okay, this is Marcus. So I've known that my footwork was holding me back, but I didn't think that the tips would work so well for me. Aligning the disc on the back foot works amazingly well. I'm excited to see some field work drills to work on more specific timing. That's great. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. The way that I teach, I try to break down so simple, so logically to where you can take little tips and see it work before your very eyes. I mean, I'm not just making this up. I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but if you watch me coach in person, this is how I do it. Yep. This is the way that I do it. I try to tell people that it is easy because if you go through the right steps, it really is. And what Paul's done, so, I mean, obviously Paul's, when I come out to film and stuff, he, you're giving me tips and yeah. techniques and you're coaching me through that. But then when we actually film the lessons, it's like just what you coached me, just yeah. broken down into nice little easy, digestible, very implementable things. And people can just go out and, and knock it out. So that's cool that he's already getting, putting the disc over the back, over the back knee. Mm -hmm. Yep. Easy to aim it. All right, Anthony Higgy. Got the confidence in my circle one putting and signed up for the Tennessee State Disc Golf Championships, which will be the largest tournament I've ever played in. Well, good luck. Not disc golf related, but I have started going to the gym, gym constantly for the past month and a half and have also dropped 13 LBs, so pounds, so kind of a two for one win wise. Hey, Absolutely, man. Congrats on that. I mean confidence up, weight down. It's it's weird how, honestly, and this and this goes for for myself, when you start something and you start becoming more successful at it, that leads into other aspects of your life of you just wanting to be better. Period. It doesn't matter if it's playing baseball or like recently I started playing a little pickleball, right? Right. But that makes me want to do more cardio so that I last a, a bit longer and I'm I'm not out of energy. I mean, it just kind of leads into itself. So I completely cool. get this, Anthony. I really do. Way to go, Anthony. Heck yeah. The putting videos, this is Danny Barnett Jr. The putting videos are definitely a game changer. 20 footers are starting to drop on the regular. 35 footers don't look as intimidating anymore. Can't wait to play around. Dude, that's a good feeling when those 20 footers are just <laughs> automatic. And then the 30 footer, 35 foot is just feeling better. That's awesome. It makes playing fun. It really does. All right, Trey SQ. Started the course last night. Didn't make it far before I passed out after a long day's work. But I went and did some practice putting this morning. I used to have my weight forward when putting. Mm -hmm. Tried loading the back foot and that alone has already made a huge difference in accuracy. Can't wait to see what other minor adjustments make big differences in my game. You know what's crazy is like just the smallest things to tweak yeah. make such big improvements. It's really crazy. Yeah. Like, I mean, he focused on one thing, just you know, being back loaded instead of front loaded, which you teach all the time, and he's getting the results, which is sick. That's awesome. Congratulations, Trey. Keep at it, buddy. Let's go, Trey. That's all we got. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm gonna put a link. Uh, I'll give Paul a link to put under here. We've got hundreds of, of people telling us that they're really seeing results from the lessons in the Power Disc Golf Academy. Yeah. So if you wanna go check out to see if this is actual, like the real deal, no joke, it is. There's a bunch of people that have left us reviews. If you guys wanna test it out and just kinda of see how Paul coaches and what you can get from a video tutorial, cause I know a lot of people are skeptical yeah. about that. We're giving two free lessons away um, and all you gotta do is text the word POWER, P-O-W-E-R to this number, 512. 
512-768-4002, and you'll get a text message back immediately with a link. There's no credit cards, no nothing like that. There's just a link that you click on and you can see a putting lesson mm -hmm. and a throwing lesson. And then if you like what you see, we'd love to have you in the, in the academy. Yep, completely free. And like you said, you can kind of see my style that I coach in, which is a big, it's a big selling point, honestly, yep. to a lot of people. Um, I know when learning anything, sometimes it's, you need that special somebody and i hope i can be that for you guys i'm trying my hardest i really am i'm i'm constantly a student of the game myself trying to get better at coaching um trying for you guys so definitely check out those two free free lessons and and see where it takes you yeah and i'll actually give i'll give the curriculum list of all the lessons that oh, yeah. we've idea. published already and we'll just put it in the description of this video and you can see every single subject that we've yep. already published. We've got 75 lessons. We're going to publish about another 30 or 40 mm -hmm. from our first round of filming. And then we're going to film more. There's more yep. coming down the pipe. So and Different um, people, too. Absolutely. Different people. I want to get more people's perspective on, on a lot of different things. So I'm, I'm trying to get some notable names to come into the to the academy and teach you guys um, some things that, you know, maybe I'm, I, I wouldn't be able to get through to some of you. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you guys again for coming back to the channel. Hit the like and subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you down the fairway. I'll, I'll be down the fairway. Let's yeah. go.